Hello and welcome to episode 1 of the Bevo's Tech Pack for Minecraft 1.7.10 with me, Ryanus. So, last episode was the pilot episode where I introduced this mod pack and basically asked for some feedback. Although I didn't really get too much of the way of written feedback, uh, I had quite a few likes and things on the video, so I'm going to take it that you guys wanted to do this. Or wanted me to do this anyway. So, let's get started. So, as you can see, since the first episode, I have been busy building and doing things. Oh, there's a little bit of a glitch there with the two rats at the back. Can you see that? Excuse this. <laughs> right, anyway, but I'll show you around. Um, I'll show you the outside. It's a little bit of a starting cottage that I built. Uh, obviously, some reeds here. There's the cottage itself. Uh, my local farm. Uh, normal wheat, barley, uh, and some other mixed. Uh, fruit and vegetables, and there are some broccoli, canotel, I can't pronounce that, cucumbers, <laughs> and all sorts. Uh, one of the mods I do actually want to get into because there's quite a lot you can do that. When I get a, big, a bigger property, bigger base, whatever, uh, I want to make a specific area in the area for like a proper little kitchen, I think. because. Uh, there's so many things you can do. You can create these footlongs and hashes and chilies, spaghetti and meatballs. So yeah, I won't mind actually trying to get into that tiny bit, as well as one of the other mods as well. Uh, so in here, uh, obviously the bed. Found some essence berry bushes, which obviously you can get free XP near enough. Uh, got some training max for doing some food and things like that. Got a few bits and pieces. If you did watch episode one, I did get horse armor and well, ep sorry, episode zero. Sorry, uh, you see the horse armor and the saddle that I got there. I did manage to get a horse, but then it killed itself because it went into some quicksand and I couldn't get it out, and unfortunately it died. Uh, and you'll also see why I picked up. Got some of this other stuff as well uh, from that episode if you want to go back to it. Uh, these are just normal stuff. Then I'll link a bit of mining here. I've been doing a lot more than that and I'll take it down into my mines in a second. Uh, stone and an empty chest there. Now unfortunately when I just updated uh, and I logged in onto my single player world, for some reason I just died. As soon as I logged in I died. Hence why I have got my head here which is kind of cool in a death sort of way uh some zombie heads up there as well also got the quartz grindstone so that's uh, why i've been doubling up my oars just potting around hitting this thing uh, if you don't know how to craft this this is a fairly basic recipe uh, it's from applied in logistics 2 uh, just quartz small stone a wooden gear and a bit of cobblestone and then that and then the uh, crank itself, even easier. It's just a load of sticks in an upside down L, basically. So easy peasy, and then you can just start doubling up yours. I've got some iron in there, already going. If I continue doing this, just a little while. I, you probably know this anyway, it's basic stuff. There you go, I get two iron dust. So that's ready for cooking. Talking of which, let me just double check my furnaces. Well, a little bit of stone in there. That's fine. So I'm just going to take you down to the mines uh, to show you what I have actually been doing a lot of. Oh yeah, uh, forgot about that. Uh, as I'm going to be doing one Pacific mod, uh, which is going to be the Botania. Uh, I've collected a load of Botania, different colour of these. Uh, I want to collect a lot more because I don't know exactly what I need, but there's quite a few around almost every plant there apart from probably that poppy or the red rose actually it's known as a poppy in this or botania, botania plants uh, i don't think this one is either no that's a thing but you know this one is that one is that one is that one is uh so <laughs> there's there's quite a few so i'm just going to take you down into my mine uh yeah this deployer bit unusual i found when i was digging 
it just popped out of nowhere uh, and there was a factorization book in it so obviously it's one way of actually getting the book um, let me see if I can actually find it. I hope I haven't lost it anywhere. Um, that's just a normal book. Checking these. No, unfortunately, that seems to have gone. Oh, actually, duh. I put it in here. They are the factorization manual. So, that's probably something that we could look into, but it's a lot of reading and other weird things so yeah <laughs> I'll probably have to do that off camera maybe I uh, don't really know anything about factorization uh, well saying that there's not a right lot that I knew about the, these mods at all this is hence why I want to do one of these 1.710 mods packs so down here is my mine. Uh, first, I found this little quarry, and then after exploring it, the mine shaft down there, and a few other bits and pieces, I just decided to dig down again, creating a, a little bit of a strip mine, which is all here. And um, you've seen these before. You just go two across and then start digging. Uh, but I created these fairly special tinker tools to do it. Well, I say they're special, they're not special really. Uh, but I'll show you them anyway. Because uh, I actually picked this up from another YouTuber, uh, King King Mac King Daddy Maxi from the Hermitcraft, I think he is. I'll have to double check that. Uh, but these are fairly decent tools. They're stone tools, so I can repair them with stone, easy enough. But as you can see, this hammer has got redstone of 250. Look at that mining speed, 42.72. It's also got a diamond on it to increase durability. Now the reason that I got this is because the head is made out of stone and everything else is made out of paper. As you can see, it's fully writable. So I got six upgrades on that. And as you can see, I can mine that. Uh, the pickaxe is basically the same apart from it's only got 50 redstone on it uh, so that brings it up to 8.1 but I am trying to get lapis on it which gives me a fortune. At the moment I've got fortune 2 which is kind of cool. So I'll just repair that. This is just a normal mattock. Uh, put a little bit of haste on it just to make it a little bit quicker and a diamond to make it a little bit more durable. Didn't really need to do that but I did. Anyway, anywhere to put this? No, I did not. Okay. So, this is the mining that I have actually been doing. There we are. Oh, this little lot here. Plenty of redstone. A uh, few diamonds. Oh, just under a stack of diamonds. Uh, quite a bit of lead and iron ore. And I've got myself some obsidian already. Uh, rubies and whatnot. But I did really want to show off these tools because I think they're really brilliant starting tools. Excuse me, uh, they do take a while to get up to this, so, you know, do be prepared to actually do stuff, but, you know, you can make these little strip mines very, very quickly. Uh, let me just put some torches next to my uh, stuff. So this is actually what slows me down, actually, because digging out the dirt and the gravel is one of the worst things on this. But with that extra speed on the uh, on the mattock itself, it does give me a little bit of uh, quickness, I suppose. As well, hence the name haste. Get this little bit out. Be able to continue using the hammer. I think that's kind of cool. Oh, it looks like we've found a. A little bit of a cave here. Now I have come to the conclusion that I will probably need two strip mines, one a little bit higher up, because uh, I haven't been able to find any copper, which I'm going to need, and a few other things. Uh, let me just go and show you in the actual chest itself. 
Uh, yeah, there's some ruby up there. Just run across here. There we are. Because uh, as you can see, I've got silver, but there's no tin and there's no copper. So, like I said, I may need to make a secondary mine, which is going to be higher up. Also, lapis is very, very hard to come by. Uh, all the lapis that I actually got, I actually put on uh, my uh, pickaxe to actually get some of the look. Just dump that in there. But you can see that I can collect resources fairly quickly now. Uh, and also with uh, Fortune 2 on this, I can pretty much get some decent diamonds when I find it. May I have doubled up some rubies there. So, you know, and I always like to keep my strip mines fairly tidy. So almost everywhere that you can see cobblestone uh, is where I mine some resources. And uh, did things like that. Oh, yeah, that's a nice little lava lake. <laughs> I don't know if I can actually get to that redstone or not. It would be nice, but maybe not. Let's have a quick look while we're here. Yeah, no, I think I will be able to get to it, but... Uh, that's some diamond right there. Yeah, it is. Good grief. Look at this thing hiding from me. Let's see if we can get to it. I didn't even see that diamond. Is it gonna? Oh, ho, ho. that was uh, fairly close. <laughs> all for the one diamond, but it all counts. So I'm fairly happy with the amount of mining I've already done. Like I say, I just need probably need to make a secondary mine shaft, uh, and then I also need to try and get all some of these resources upstairs. Some bigger chests or something. Always the case. I don't know what I'm going to use rubies for or anything like that, but uh, let's get some of these resources upstairs while I'm here. Uh, the gold and the silver, the iron definitely, the lead, the diamonds, two stacks of them. Coal. I can't take all of this up with me, but the ferocious and the main stuff that I need, I think, uh, could do with the osmium ore as well. So let's leave a silver stack and do that. So let me just get upstairs and then I want to start on or look into one of the other mods. So just I'll be back in one second when I get home. Alright, here we are back at home. Hopefully safely, but um I've got a few mobs out there. It is night and unfortunately I can't sleep because I've got spiders and I think there's another creeper hanging about out there somewhere. Uh, yeah, I need to light this area up properly. <laughs> so, yeah. Right, anyway, so let's get started with some Botania. So, uh, I need to create a, a book. Uh, now, unfortunately, the NEI system still doesn't work properly, but we can do it the old-fashioned way with looking for mods this way and just double-click on the mod that you want and then I'll start. There we are, sorted and we've got everything there that we need. So I'm looking for Pacific Book which is on page 3 there it is, the Lexia Botania. Is that how you pronounce it? Lexia? Yeah. Uh, so all you need is any sort of sapling and a book and then you get that. So we've got a book already luckily enough and any sort of sapling will do, and you just put them together and kadunk. We've got this very old box now. I love this book. I've seen it before, other people using it. Uh, you can quite easily see what it says there. Alexia Botania, 96th edition. Your guys to all botanical needs. From the best selling author, Elizabeth Valskia. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but if you open it up, can you see how that opens, closes? Isn't that animation absolutely fantastic? And this is what you're greeted with, and I think this is really well laid out. Uh, the basics and mechanics, so you can read all this sort of stuff. 
uh, botanity related manner. You know, I, obviously I'll read a lot of this to uh, off camera, but can you see how the pages are moving as well? It tells you how to craft it as well if you need be. Uh, that title can also be custom, so you can customize the uh, title of the stuff. And that's basically there. So an introduction to mana. Uh, yep. So I need to find out what I actually really need, which I think is this thing. So petal Prothecacy. Yeah, there's a lot of words in here that I won't be able to pronounce. <laughs> um, right, this block will place in the world and give some water. By the use of water buckets, will accept mystical petals thrown in it and releasing their energies. Okay. Once. Bring some seeds. Okay. That's fine. So, and there's the crafting recipe a petal, cobblestone. Oh, that's easy enough. So, we'll, we'll do that straight away and make this thing. So, I'm presuming I can just do that to get the petals. Yep. Easy. And we've got plenty of cobblestone. So, that's that. That was them. Uh, that there. And. Like that, there we go. So we'll stick this in the center of the room. Oh wow, that's kind of cool actually. Got a decent uh, height to it, so that's kind of cool. Uh, are we fairly safe? It's a skeleton over there, creeper's still having a dip. So let's get some water. Have I got any actual iron cut up? I have, good. To get a water bucket. Oh. Yeah. Oh no, that's flooded out my house. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's that nicely done. Uh, thinking maybe if I do that, it might be a little bit better than. Might put this outside actually, but that might be easier to actually throw stuff in. Okay, so what's next? What do we have to do to actually get this thing to work? Bring in some seeds. Okay, that's fine. What seeds do we actually want? Now that's the the pure daisy. Most basic but most important flower. This flower will purify any stone blocks okay living wood and living rock that sounds cool which can be used for crafting just give it a minute or so <laughs> nice okay uh turned into living wood twigs now i think these twigs are like your ones white is bright and pure so does that mean i need four white petals uh, yes, good, I have actually got enough for one at least. I also need some seeds as well, do I? I've got some pumpkin seeds, but will they work? Or do I need normal wheat seeds? Let's try the normal wheat seeds first. But that gave me two. Right then, so I think what I do is throw put them in there. Alright. Or do I just throw these in there? One, two, three, and four. And then seeds the pure daisy what color do you want to be cool so this is how we get started in it so <laughs> a 
who made his first local plant in Botania. Yep, yeah, I'm on my way to be some sort of druid, I would suppose. I suppose so <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode thank you very much for joining me if you have any sort of hints tips or advice do leave them in the comments section please don't forget that like button if you enjoyed this episode so until next time thank you very much for joining me goodbye